<laughs> we can um, listen to jazz Christmas. And let's be real. We don't have time for this. <laughs> well, I thought it could be. We a... don't have time for this. I know. It's very hectic at the See? Yar. Speak the truth, Yar. Moment. Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So we're going to take a look at Alexandra Rodriguez. I am actually going to record the vlog she did two days ago because she's going to give a breastfeeding update. Hopefully she admits to she doesn't, but we will see. I'm probably going to post this first because she's her video this morning that just dropped about an hour ago two hours ago is about her decorating her house which frankly i could give a rat's ass about but we'll watch that later um also memberships i still have them um i think it's a dollar 99 a month and some things that i've already done include i made you guys special icons woohoo it was fun. I liked making them. I love strawberries. Um, also, hmm, I got the clothes in from Miss Alexandra Rodriguez's Gap Haul. So I'm going to try to film that today. If the weather holds out or if I could find a suitable place to film that isn't outside. So look for that. And then the P.S. de Resistance for my members... I recorded a vlog I when I was in New York last week. I am not a vlogger, right? But I figured, well, I'm in New York City. This is probably the last time this year that I'm going to be there. I might be going in January. I'm not sure. But I figured I'd do a vlog walking around there anyways. But I, I already, I didn't close it out. So I have to figure something out because I was, my last day, I was friggin' toast tired. Like... I don't know that I've ever been that tired in my life. But anyways, click the button below to join. We've got fun there. Um, we've got fun. Hmm. We have fun there. Some little personal off the wall stuff, not stuff that, um, you know, I want my main members or my main channel subscribers to see because I'm kind of like laying it all out there. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, back to Alex and her cozy fall update of new crafts breastfeeding update bake with me another cozy vlog oh anyways we'll see what happens here let's press play oh by the way there is a paid promotion here what do you bet she's not holding anderson this time what do you bet i bet you she doesn't because i said something <laughs> Yes, I'm I'm assuming she watches me. She doesn't. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. Bruni and I are on our Bruni. little solo morning walk. Um, I will say the fall did not look like that in New York City. <laughs> There's not that many trees. <laughs> and letting him get a good sniff in his favorite spot. The foliage popped so much like the last few days. It is just so... And it looks pretty hot there. Like, sleeveless. I I don't know. I don't... I don't wear sleeveless here. I guess in the summer I wear tank tops. But it's like, you know, friggin' 98 degrees here. Pretty. Wouldn't wear that now. I just want to, like, show it in every vlog. But I'm like, I'm sure it's getting boring. <laughs> but I just love no, the foliage. No, it's not. It's pretty. Um, that's why I feel like I could never leave New England. I don't know. I just... I love the foliage. But anyway, you guys... I'm in shorts. Guess what? Guess what? 80 degrees today. Wow. 80 degrees. I am very uncomfy. Does not feel right at all. Um, mm -hmm. It's like in the low 70s right now because it's still early in the morning. But you can just tell it's going to be a scorcher this afternoon. 
Um, this is exactly why, exactly why I have not swapped out my summer and winter clothes yet. Because I well, just knew it'll get cooler. So, um, New York <sighs> Thursday was pretty cold. Friday wasn't so bad in the afternoon, but it was pretty cool in the morning. There's always like weird. I think it was 45 Friday in morning. October in this area. So anyway, um, I got my shorts on and my tank top. <laughs> Good. Good for you. And the you. funny part is like my plan for today, I want to put Anderson in a pumpkin. <laughs> well, he's still small. I've seen so many cute like photo shoot ideas with babies in pumpkins and like time's a ticking. It's almost Mariah Carey season. So yeah, I got a hug. Is she talking about that asshole song, All I Want for Christmas? Is you? Okay, no, I'm not even gonna. I despise that song. I actually despise most Christmas music unless it's like a classical tune. I know. Can I tell you? I'm boring. Up to it. But it feels well, just, really weird to do the it. The Mariah today. Carey song is just way overplayed. <laughs> it's so warm, but we got to do what we got to do. We'll just pretend we're in Florida or something. <laughs> That's on the agenda today. So let's go home and make some breakfast and start the day. Like, look at that. Oh. That is so beautiful. Yes. So it is. pretty. So, yeah, my son was sending me pictures from his school too. It looks really nice. Like I said, New York didn't look like that. I am obsessed. Okay, last shot. I have to just stop now. Before no, we dive into our pumpkin carving adventure, oh, here we go. I'm about to take my grooms for the day. So look, she is not holding Anderson. And no, I didn't pre-watch this, but I don't know what this is, nor do I care. Let's fast forward. Oh boy, it's pretty long. Okay, here we go. Okay, Alex, what's with the headphones? Work. It might work if I make the hole big enough. So I've seen different kinds of these pumpkin baby pictures. So there are ones where you do a big opening and then holes for the legs to come through. Oh, this is the good side here. Um, or some of them, it's just a big hole. She's going to waste a whole pumpkin for that. I don't know, guys. Mm. Well, and then they're like sleeping with their head on the side, but... Mm. I don't know. I'm going to start with the hole in the top because either way, the hole in the top has to be big enough for That's either of our said. situations here. But there is a ton of inspiration on Pinterest. I don't know who to give credit to here because there's like a million pictures of the same baby poses. So You guys remember Ann Geddes from the day and she had all those beautiful baby photos. Yeah, that was unique back in the day. I guess everybody could do it now. I never could. I couldn't get my kids to like sit still long enough. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know who started it. Could have been anyone. Probably was back in the 19, 1900s. I was born in the 1900s. I meant to say 1800s, but like, I don't think people were doing pumpkin baby photo shoots. <laughs> no, they didn't do that to their food. They ate their food. Oh, cool. let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. I've learned my lesson in life that you don't need to buy a pumpkin carving kit because chances are the carver little knife thing is never good. Never mm -hmm. strong enough. Never good. No, the, the trick though is to put holes like so draw your design and then um, prick holes around it and then it's easier to cut. Or you could use a power tool, but be careful because you don't want too much. Like you don't want to use a drill because you'll explode the pumpkin. But that's how I did. I have these corn holder things that have two very sharp prongs and a nice little handle. So I would just um, dot the outline of my design with those. And then the knife goes right through. The little scooper, you can use a spoon. A big spoon, okay? But like, you guys gonna tell me if you also love like a roasted pumpkin seed? Yes. So Yeah, I was gonna say, if she throws those pumpkin seeds out, I'm not gonna be happy. I feel like sometimes I'm just never like in the mood to like clean off to, like, the seeds and roast them, but like I'm determined. Let's get to it. It feels very strange to be doing this um like i said in shorts she's gonna hurt I herself just, i associate um carving she should have gotten yarn to help i mean come on she's ugh, it's making me nervous pumpkins with cold weather oh it smells good 
I mean, like, it doesn't really smell good, actually. It just smells like pumpkin. Pumpkins don't really smell that great. Oh, see- I know why she didn't call Yar, because then she'd have to watch Anderson. If I can get a, oh, yeah. You know, when you get, like, a good little... Her arms did not shrink at all. Um, and then, what do you guys think? I guess, is she on Wegovi? I don't know. I don't care. I hope she is, because she needs to lose weight. <laughs> a good movement, Owen. She's this gonna- hole is too big. Oh, oh Alex. God. Oh, Alex. Alex, Alex, Alex. I went a little aggressively low. I went a little aggressively low. This Gotta is going to be a momentum. fiasco. Oh, my isn't God. It? I'm like, oh, this is horrible. Oh, my God. Can we just like look at it? starts here and then it goes. It, Why it, didn't it, you? It's okay. She should it's have sketched it. Nothing is that serious in life. Okay. Okay. Haha. Let's see here. Oh, see, that's actually like a really appropriately sized hole for a baby to sit in, you know? Okay. Or oh, she'll definitely fit in here. Okay. Okay. Now we got to clean it out real good. And then I'm going to well. like put a towel or something in, in here. <laughs> so she, if she's going to do the baby naked, she should um, put a diaper in there. Let him sit on a diaper. So we did that with Gabriel when he was a baby because it was my angel theme. I had him dressed up. Well, this was a professional photo taken at Babies R Us at the time. Very expensive. I don't think I have it saved on my hard drive or else I'd show you, but um, he'd kill me. <laughs> it's basically, he was, um, you know, naked like a cherub, a little butt hanging out. And they had him, like, lay on his belly on a diaper. And believe me, he peed because he was a boy. He pees all the time. But um, we even got him, because he wasn't happy about this. So Gabriel, when he was a baby, we called it the punum because right before he cried, he'd go. <laughs> so we got a good punum, punum shot that we put on a mug. <laughs> oh, don't kill me. He might even still be home. I don't know. I think he might have left. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's press play and get back to Alexandra's crappy life. I'm just going to put my baby in here, but I'm going to clean it up pretty nicely. So it's not that many seeds in here. Like, it, there are, it's not well, like, no, there are giving, aren't. it's not giving seed energy. Huh. I'm just going to use a little serving spoon. Oh yeah. There's like hardly any seeds in here. Very stringy though. So I also have an adorable little outfit that I've showed you guys. Ah, she's not going to put it um, naked. That I got on Amazon. It's so cute. Got so have it's a like these crocheted naked. little pants and then this hat. You're going to do that in a pumpkin. What is wrong with you? I would just do him. I would put him uh, naked snaky. Yes. All right. No, I'm not a creep. You can't see anything, guys. Uh, and the little hat on. That would be adorable. But also, you're not going to be able to see his legs. So yeah, don't bother. Don't, don't really dirty think that it. one through. All right, I'm going to be here for a minute. Stand by. Okay, I have got my pumpkin cleaned out, and I put a bunch of aluminum foil in it before I put like the blanket just to try to like protect it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use either, like a muslin blanket or something, just to make it look soft. But this was it for seeds. <laughs> Like, how sad is that? Okay, well. Um, but I'm still going to roast them. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, because why not? So I'm just going to waste. give them a really Other good bugs. rinse. And Season. then I'm going to pat them dry. Do a little bit of seasoning. I'm probably just going to do, like, the usual kind of thing. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, maybe paprika. And then Google says 350 for 12 to 15 minutes. And then you can do them as crunchy or not crunchy as you want. Um, sometimes people like them crunchy or chewy. I like them on the crunchier side, not when they're like super chewy. So let's do it. Anderson is asleep and I'm going to wait until like he's been asleep a long time. So I hopefully don't wake him up, but I can still keep him asleep for the photo. <laughs> I'm very nervous. Um, I should have done it when he was still smaller and he was just like, he could sleep through anything. He still sleeps yeah. through anything, but you know, in the beginning, like, you can maneuver them a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, him coming so early, I didn't really, like, ugh, our heads were just not on straight. Like, five weeks is pretty early. We were just not mentally prepared, so right. I didn't get to do, like, a newborn photo shoot. I took a lot of our own pictures, but I digress. But I want to I wanna take a lot of cute pictures of him okay. this holiday season. So, <laughs> wish me luck. But uh, first, let's get these in the oven. 
You know, she has a vlog and good cameras and she's home all day. And why doesn't she take pictures of him every day? Like I've seen people do that and it's pretty cool. So, um, yes, we have to watch this. So I'm surprised she's not using parchment. Um, I just, I'm pretty easy. I just do salt. All right, Anderson's not feeling the pumpkin picture. Sorry for chewing. Is she eating them straight with this? The, she's not like taking the shells off. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny um, that he's finally become a real baby and not some freak of nature. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to force that, but the pumpkin seeds came out great. Oh, she's eating them. No, I can't do that. I have to get the shells off and not going to be able to do that this year. <laughs> Very yummy. The pumpkin was too small for him going fully inside and his legs are too scrunched still to do like leg well, holes. Not only that, he cannot sit up. Um, That's why she should like lay him on the ground. Well, I don't know. Is he even picking his head up? He's probably not even picking his head up. Because remember, he is at his gestational age or whatever. So if he was born four or five weeks early. He's going to unfortunately, and he'll catch up, but be developmentally a few weeks behind too. That's just what happens. He will catch up, but he probably can't pick his head up yet. So no, no. <sighs> And try to figure out something else but i really wanted to do more like pumpkin-y vibes but if it doesn't work it doesn't work obviously like his comfort comes first so but you just don't want to hear him scream and these are good <laughs> trying to blame you <laughs> small victory um yara is gonna make the last hello fresh we have for dinner so was she sponsored oh and i didn't know yara cooked i'm gonna let him whip that up and I'll show you when it's done. It looks so good. It smells so good too. What is it? Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Look at you. Taste yeah, let's do a taste test. What, what is really it? <laughs> okay, I need a fork. Live taste test of Yar's HelloFresh meal. It's not salted enough. It's not. Mm, it's perfect. Really? It's delicious. No, you're lying. For real? Yeah. There you go. Boom. It's perfect. How's I the pasta? How's the meat? How's the seasoning? It's pasta? still, it's really good. It's really good. Like literally perfect. You did good. Good job. Awesome. Yay, you put in, all right. You screw up a HelloFresh. There's something wrong. <laughs> good morning, you guys. And she never told us what it was. What a shitty vlogger. It's, it's the next day. I was so tired after dinner last night, but I figured I would keep the vlog going today because I don't, I don't think I got much yesterday. Um, and I was looking into like some other craft things that we could do for Anderson for the fall. So I ended up ordering this cute little thing where like you do his footprints and it says trick or treat, smell my feet. <laughs> so probably we'll do that in the next vlog. She had to order that. She couldn't just that comes in but i will say i grabbed a craft for us to do leading up to vlogmas i'll probably do this throughout november um and i'm not gonna like pressure myself to finish it in a certain amount of time she, all right guys over under how many of them are going to be disasters i say 95 percent because we still have a newborn it's being generous but, um i grabbed this puzzle because i would love to have like the way i used to do the oh we haven't seen paint by numbers in a while i mean if she still does paint by numbers with the baby on the ground i'm i don't even know what i'm gonna say paint by numbers but like now with the newborn oh. i need something i can like easily sit down and get up and like just kind of hop on it whenever it's convenient like whether it's five minutes no. and it can get messy with the painting it's just it's not as not as simple now to do the paint by numbers so my grandparents always have a puzzle it, well right and there's a reason why grandparents do shit like that because they don't have little kids like Generally. almost always have a puzzle going at their That's house their on their dining room table 
And my mom's like that too, by the way. Because sometimes we'll go over there and then like we'll help them with the puzzle. Um, and it's fun. It's, just, it's very relaxing. You can put on like, but we can put on Christmas music. We can listen to a podcast. Um, and whether Anderson starts fussing or not, we can easily get up and remove ourselves from the situation. <laughs> so I got this puzzle and um, I got this one specifically because I would love to like frame it after and have it as decor because I think it is so cute. It is the New Yorker magazine and it's Santa at a little coffee bar and he drank a bunch of like espresso shots. <laughs> and I just think it is so, I don't know, darling. I love it. Um, December 17th, 2018, Santa's Little Helpers. So, oh, so cute. Yeah, I just, I loved it. It is a thousand piece puzzle. This is going to be... We're, we're jumping right in. This is going to be hard. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of want to like, if I like how this one goes rather, I would like to be a puzzle girly and then like get ones that I really like and actually be Far able to too passive save. for me. Because I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but the thought of doing a puzzle and then just like when I'm done. Sounds like fucking torture. I'm just breaking it apart and putting it away. I'm like, oh, that sounds horrible horrible oh also guys i got this necklace in the mail finally i ordered this custom little necklace forever ago um and it's got a little a and a b for anderson and bruno and i bought it from an instagram ad because i fall victim oh you know what i just this morning realized where else anderson is anderson cooper from cnn sorry guys for not making that connection so but yeah, I'm sure she was inspired. He's he's not ugly. Let's leave it at that. It's from a brand called Oak and Luna, and I love it. It's so cute. Who is out there, Bruniana? Anyway, you guys, it is still um, feeling like summer outside. I just took the dog for our morning morning little walk, but um, I do still feel like the fall energy because inside it's cool, and like I look out and you it's just got air conditioning foliage. on. There's pumpkins everywhere. <laughs> So i um, just going to like keep the fall energy alive. Um, and I kind of want to do some baking. We have two uh, very ripe mm -hmm. bananas. So I was trying to figure out, I'm like, I wonder if I could do a banana bread with just two bananas. Okay. So I hop on ye old Google, two banana banana bread came right up. So let's whip up some banana bread. It's nice and cozy in here. We'll just hide inside and <laughs> pretend it's 50 degrees outside. So yeah, we're going to have a cozy little fall day today, um, make banana bread and start our puzzle. And it's the next day. The life of a newborn mom. So I'm going to take our infant magroons and my vitamins and all that medicational jazz. So is it the same vitamins she gives to Bruni? <laughs> Okay, so I made banana bread last week um, before I went away and yeah. By the way, to get the best, she has a KitchenAid. What are you doing? We have to have room temperature butter, but the um, best way to measure flour, because you could screw stuff up if you put too much or too little, is weigh it. I think it's 240 mil, uh, grams, but um, yeah, I make mine in the KitchenAid. So, and yes, you cream the butter with this sugar and I use brown sugar. I don't think she used brown sugar. And there's, the, oh, you're supposed to, well, I guess it doesn't matter. You're supposed to chop the, you're supposed to mush the bananas first. Probably doesn't matter. <clears throat> She's Sally's baking addiction. I don't know if you guys have ever checked her out, but she has the best banana bread. And she's the one who put me on the whole, you have to um, be very careful with the flour. She also does great bread. Um, I don't know what that is. Is it chocolate chips? Yeah. Fold them. There you go. I put chocolate chip in my banana bread. My son doesn't like nuts. They call he calls them beans. So yep, I use butter. <laughs> uh, okay, 
<laughs> okay, very nice. Okay. Okay, you guys, our banana bread Still is has the, done. It smells so the good. Muffs on. I did 45 minutes and then did the toothpick test and ended up needing about eight more minutes and now it's perfect. Yeah. The house smells amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wait for that to cool a little bit and then Yara and I will give it a taste. And I also got a couple of packages just now. One from Glow Recipe and then one from, I don't know, I don't know what that is. And then I want to start our puzzle. Okay, ooh, Serum Superstars. Also, stay by, stay by. <laughs> Stand by and stay tuned, put together because the holiday season is coming. We're gonna do we some know. More giveaways. I did a giveaway recently over on my Instagram, so follow me over there. Serum Superstars. This is such a cute gift set. These must be like maybe their holiday gift sets here. Okay, yeah. So she they doesn't even know. Some you guys sent her product and she doesn't even know what it is. Nice. Of their popular ones all together. I'll probably save some of these. And also, she doesn't even like. Google to figure it out before she opens it. The giveaway, so stand by. These are the watermelon glow icons. So this is a $91 value for $64. Mm. Honestly, if you guys like need certain skincare replenishment or makeup replenishment, the holiday season is the time to grab them in the little gift sets they do it's because true. they're always like mm -hmm. wicked good value. Wicked. Maybe wait until like the Black Friday to Cyber Monday weekend as well. Um, and then these are the Dewy Skin Dazzlers and these have some of the minis, uh, watermelon ones. $91 value for $32. So that's a really good deal. And then Serum Superstars is a $64 value for $48. So they have all their popular serums. So, very cool. I'm guessing these are going to be available for, like, the holiday season. Oh, and then we got um, a free sample of formula uh, for signing up for something online because, as you guys know, I have done supplementing and pumping from the beginning. And truth be told, we are, like, kind of weaning off of any pumping. And Shocking. But, Alex, that started weeks ago. If you really want to not lie, say it. And going to formula. Truthfully, I don't love pumping no, and breastfeeding. No, it's okay. I... It's okay. Uh, yeah. And if anybody judges you for that, you're one of those lactation you-know-whatsers. Okay? It's not for everybody, guys. And if you can make it work for you, gold, big old thumbs up for me. I don't blame her. But I would have been honest about it. Did it for as long as I possibly could. He's almost two months and I just really, it's hard. It's really hard. I haven't talked about it much. I get asked a lot we about know. like my breastfeeding pumping journey and we know it makes me because, and also you didn't do it consistent because that wasn't your priority. And again, okay, fine. Fed is best. Okay. I knew she wasn't going to be able to do it. I struggled with it, okay? And I have 10 times more ambition than this one. I feel horrible. <laughs> I you don't shouldn't. know. It's, it's a very personal decision. It is. Um, I'm not going to get into it too much, but there's no shame in doing like what's best for you and, and your yeah. baby, but yeah. I am. So she probably feels guilty because, first of all, that's part of your postpartum journey. For me, it was anyways. And people, you know, you got them. I said, like the lactation consultants, we use a different word, but they made me feel like shit, okay? And that's the last thing you should do. Granted, it was the early knots and people are different now, but um, I wouldn't, unless I know people who are naturals at it, who didn't have to get the lactation consultants. That's fantastic. I'm envious, but it's not a knock on your motherhood. You just have to be honest because you have a lot of women watching you feeling like shit because they couldn't breastfeed and then here you are starting back up on your vlog the day you come home from the hospital you didn't skip a beat I don't even think you missed any uploads you know oh I'm breastfeeding yada 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 you know <laughs> 
you set a very unrealistic picture, okay? And that's why I'm upset at you. That is why. It's not because you're not breastfeeding. I don't care. It's the fake persona you put out that probably just made some women feel worse about themselves in this very delicate time of their life. That's why I'm mad. Weaning more into formula now. I did the best I could. Having the portable um, breast pump really did help, but For what? I was kind of hoping it would make me like love it, but I just... I don't know. I had a real She probably couldn't get much because she wasn't, she wasn't, um, every two hours, guys. You either have to feed with your breast or pump, especially when they're that young, to establish your milk supply. Once you've established your milk supply, then you can start supplementing and shit, but she never established her milk supply. Really hard time, and I just did not love the way it made me feel. Yeah. And the mental health effects it had Thank on me. Thank you. Anyway. It only took you fucking two months to cop to that, you asshole. Anyone curious about that? Um, yeah. Not yeah how, many, how many women did you make sad and struggle more because you made it seem like you had it all? Okay. This, should, this is like, I don't know, two months overdue really doing much pumping these days. So anyway, there's no mom shaming allowed here. Do what is best for you and your baby. I am about to crack this open and I just want to see like what I'm in for. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's a lot, but I'm actually like really excited about it. It's just like a nice screen free way to relax. Okay, Yar, <laughs> Yar wants to come try the banana bread while it's warm. So I think, I don't think it's too warm now. We'll see. But should I mean, take it out. She's gorgeous. She is a beaut. Cut him a nice big old piece. No, take it out. What's wrong with you? Oh my God. What is wrong with you, lady? Take it out. You're scratching your fucking loaf pan. There's so much pressure to cut this out without... <laughs> You're doing it wrong. It okay. Went pretty well. Oh, and you're giving good. him the end piece. You're a psycho. It smells amazing. I'm going to cut some for myself. I. So she's giving... Oh, uh, no. I eat the end piece and I give the good parts to my loved ones. Oh. Okay, he'll be down shortly. I'm going to try a bite of it while I'm waiting for him. Yeah, mm -hmm. she ate the good piece and she's giving him the fucking heel. <sighs> Very good. It's rare I'd have a piece of banana bread I don't like, but overall, delish. The time has come. It smells good. The house yeah. smells She gave amazing. him the heel. Is that chocolate chips? Yeah, I couldn't help myself. Is that okay? I, see, I, mean, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Really? Oh, uh, I... Uh-oh. Always put chocolate chips in my banana bread. Always. Sorry. I, I think I'd have a mutiny. Chips. Wait, really? No. It's fire. Is it? Yeah. Well, it looks delicious. Like, you buttered it. She obviously never makes it. Up to. I did. I buttered it for you. Did you taste it already? I did. Is it good? I loved it. <laughs> I low-key think it needed a third banana. I feel like one more banana would have been nice. Mm -hmm. It could be a little more banana-y, but it's still really good. So, so this is this is fire. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He has to say that. Oh, my. Yeah. I'm so still reeling that she gave him the fucking I'm heel. I'm about to start my puzzle era. How long do you think this is going to last? <laughs> this, new, this new hyper fixation. How long do you think it will oh. last? <laughs> you're going to get halfway through it and you're going to want to turn it. <laughs> That's my guess. Are you I, Halfway? You, you think she's going to get that me? far? <laughs> Don't volunteer me for nothing. <laughs> We can um, listen to jazz, Christmas. And let's be real. We don't have time for this. <laughs> well, I thought it could be. We a... don't have time for this. I know. It's very hectic at the See? Yar. Speak the truth, Yar. Moment. But I thought it could be a good way to unwind and relax screen free. And it's something you can kind of just leave if things get busy. When the baby like starts to cry or whatever, we can go and just leave the puzzle in the dining room. Oh. True. I'm determined. Yeah, but then you always have to have it out. So. Determined. I want to be a puzzle girly. So you remember that Lego set you got me like two years ago? Oh, yeah. I haven't even opened it. <laughs> I know. Too busy. I know. Too busy. I did one. I was like 5,000 pieces. And since then, I just don't want to. Dude, that took forever. Yeah. That was a journey. Can't take the time. So those are my kind of. Uh, uh, Yar, Yar, you're my spirit person. My puzzles, but. You're my spirit daddy. Uh, we'll see. Sounded weird. You can feel free to start it, though. I'm going to. I'm yeah, gonna be a you could sit on your ass a little bit more while I take care of Anderson. Girly, you just watch. I'm going to be a puzzle girly. <laughs>
my current hyperfixation. <laughs> Many hours later. Don't we all wish her son was her hyperfixation? She seems disappointed, right? So I'm getting a lot of disappointment in this video. Like, it wasn't like she thought it was going to be, which it kind of usually isn't. But she's, she's, the look on her face when she couldn't get the picture to work out with the pumpkin. Um, she's not mad. She's disappointed. Yep. Welcome to puzzle time. It is, oh, I never film in here. It's like kind of echoey. I'm in my dining room and I've got Anderson here. He's like wide awake, chilling. And it's 6.05, it's getting dark out. And this is gonna be my cozy puzzle room because we're only Have gonna use this seen room her? when my a, family eats in here. Is this a formal dining room? Huh. Here on Christmas Eve. So mm -hmm. that's the only deadline, Christmas Eve. We've got two months to do our puzzle. So <laughs> I'm actually really excited. If you guys can hear Anderson, he is making lots of cute little baby sounds right behind you. All right, let's see what we're in for. I have a feeling, I have a feeling it's gonna be, <gasps> you guys, these pieces are so small. Wait, how big is this? How big is this gonna be? It's gonna be 19 and a quarter inches by 26 and 5 eighths inches. It's pretty big. Okay, that's like a pretty good size. She's like gonna frame it? Over two feet one way. All right, let's just, let's just go for it. <laughs> <sighs> You want to know the funny part is when I go to my grandma's to help her with the puzzle, I will say this straight up. She usually has like the outer border done, <laughs> which helps a lot. So I think I'm going to like start yeah. there. Well, the first part, and you have to turn all the pieces over and find, find the ends. all of the, the like borders. edge pieces yeah. like this. So, okay, let's see. Now the question is, just is this, pick them all is this out. Black line, part of it, because that would be. Well, maybe it is, because here's a. Okay, no, I think it is. Okay. Well, okay, it's I'm supposed to be excited. a magazine. Cover, How many times so... am I gonna say I'm excited? Let's just start trying to get things moving. So yeah, there are black pieces like this. So let's start with that. I mean, straight up, we're already in luck because we found the corner piece. So I've got the bottom left corner. Nice. Already established. So let's try to get all of those. He oh, wants to be here. Yes, home. I know. Can you pick it's your very baby exciting, up? Anderson. Very exciting. I already feel relaxed. So you... every moment that I was, I don't know, I was holding the baby. You can't spoil a newborn, guys. Just Thank you, can't. Anderson. Can we finish this by Christmas Eve? No, not with an what infant. What do you think, Bubba? Yeah, he doesn't give a shit about your puzzle, Alex. All right, he wants to be held. He's an infant, a newborn, kind of. I guess he still is kind of a newborn because he's, in theory, if he's two months old, he's really only five weeks, six weeks. So, oh. She picked him up. Thank God. Here. Look at you holding your head up. Jeez Louise, no, kid, you're No, you can't trust it. Oh, he's so um, We just had a little spit up situation, so we're gonna go have a tubby and go to bed. But I love you guys, and I'll see you again in a few days. Bye. Oh, I love babies. Oh. All right, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> I don't know what's more brave, starting a thousand piece puzzle when you have a newborn or talking about breastfeeding on the internet. What's up with the headphones? They shut out everything and you can enjoy your music or listen to a book walking with your headphones on. It's wonderful. If you don't have any, get you some headphones. Um, she's, she has a newborn, so. And this person wisely said, I know what headphones do. Why would you have them on in a vlog? If you're talking to her, your viewers, it makes no sense to have them on. Is she listening to a podcast or music while she's talking like Amber Lynn? Um, and you know, I wear, so obviously I've got my earbuds, um, but when I was vlogging, I wore them because they're a great microphone too. <laughs> I have a question. Why are you wearing noise canceling headphones during your vlog when you have a newborn infant? Asking for a friend. Oh, I let's see. Did they tear this person up? 
so she can listen to music, watch videos, or just enjoy silence. <laughs> I don't really understand your question, I guess. Her wearing headphones don't change the ability for her to care for her baby. <laughs> mm. She reply again, who are these people? Hold on. Karen Moore. Okay, so I th I'm sorry, with all these K, K names. Just because she's wearing headphones doesn't mean they're noise canceling. Oh, those are noise canceling, all right. And she does have a husband. Her husband that takes care of her child. Oh, I'm sorry, that also <laughs> takes care of her child. Very important word I just dropped. <laughs> Women aren't the only ones that have to take care of their children. Child care is both parents responsibilities very true but i am telling you when gabriel and andrew were newborns it was like 95 5 okay and i wouldn't have had it any other way because controlling hey minions how are you i hope you are all having a good day sorry we use common sense and it offended you this is a jab at Alex. Get a life. <laughs> Maybe they are linked to... <laughs> Maybe they are linked to the baby monitor. I know. <laughs> Cracking up at Yar. Cracking up at Yar's truth, actually. We don't have time for this. I got the worst anxiety seeing you use a knife in your loaf pan. <laughs> She scratched it. You guys, it, this shit's expensive. You don't want to ruin it. I am forever yelling at my husband not to use anything sharp in my pants. And if you, pre, if you treat the pan properly, you should be able to pop that bad boy loaf out. So this is what I did. And I'm going to make this my last comment before I do. There's a lot of positive comments here about not feeling bad for breastfeeding, which 100%. 100%. Why would anybody feel, all right, and again, I'm not mad at her for not breastfeeding. I'm mad at her for fucking lying. That's what I'm mad at her for. But anyways, put Anderson in an adorable pumpkin outfit and take up photos. Take photos at a pumpkin patch. He could be the newest pumpkin in the patch. I couldn't agree more. That's what we always did. Not that we have real pumpkin patches here in Florida, but there was this Methodist church that used to like get a field's worth of pumpkins every year. And it would be sort of like a, um, like a charity thing for them. You know, I always felt better buying the pumpkins from them than I did from Publix because it's going towards something. But yeah, they, uh, thus moved out. I don't know where they went, but it's a different type of church and they don't do pumpkins anymore. It's really sad. Oh, well, but my kids are grown anyway. So it'd look funny bringing them to a pumpkin patch. Now that'd be actually, that's not a bad idea if I could find one. Okay. Well, we made it guys. I'm cracking myself up here thinking of my two strapping young men with beards and all at a pumpkin patch in a little pumpkin patch outfit. I don't know. We'll see. No, one of them's not here and the other one, yeah, no. <laughs> ah, anyways, guys, uh, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to become a member. I promise you, you'll like it. And if you don't, you don't. But click the button to join. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.